Okay. So yesterday we have completed. So how hash function could be gets prepared, and what are the different different primitives you have to consider for uh, preparing hash function. What is the protocol? How the protocol can be taken into consideration? Something like that we have discussed. So this is the protocol which was uh, already discussed in the previous class. The protocol might be Bob can be prepare his private key and the public key. Public key can be placed onto the so insecure uh, channel that is internet, and Alice will receive so-called public key for doing some kind of. Uh, uh, decryption operation or encryption operation and uh, Bob will be considered so his phone own the plain text so remember once again I repeat the plain text will be visible to everybody it could be accessed by everybody even the intruder the hacker could also be accessed this particular plain text so that is what you need to uh, always remember while talking something about hashing or SHA, whatever the applications which we have to discuss in terms of uh, data integrity and uh, message authentication. Okay, for these two points, you need to remember message will be the plain text will be the document will be always looking, I mean, always accessed by anybody. Okay, the point will be always uh, whether the document which we, he has received will be proper or not by taking the or by creating the. So, uh, uh, creating the hash and compare whatever the hash which was sent by the sender, both have to be comp com uh, uh, compared. If it is true, then it would be considered as true. I mean, the document which we have received is a uh, uh, genuine one, otherwise, it is uh, not genuine one. So, in this one, he has calculated so z will be equal to h of x, ha hash function of x will be communicated here or, uh, or, or created here. And after that, uh, on hash function, he prepared one more thing by using his private key. That private key can be used. So he, he, he identified a signature. And this signature and X, whatever the plain text, these two will be sent to the, so his recipient or Alice. Okay, Alice will be received, so plain text. And Alice also received the signature. So the signature is always one way function. It is always one way function. You could not uh, so break this particular signature back. You have to identify or you have to calculate one more signature on the same plain text stating that uh, whether this particular signature and what you calculated that signature will be same or not will be identified by you. So immediately using Bob's, uh, uh, I mean using uh, the hashing, hashing function so see it can be calculated Z prime Z prime equal to H of X because this X is available for everybody. Plain text is available for everybody. And then using so Bob's public key, so she can be calculates, so she can be verifies whether so he was uh, she was received one uh, signature and she has identified one uh, so hash function, whether these two will be equal or not. It could be gets identified by Alice. If it is true, whatever the plain text she has received, that is okay. If it is not true, that is false, the received plain text is having some kind of, uh, the, I mean, I mean, the forge kind of information could be there. So this is actually the protocol. Protocol can be seen in such a fashion. And how the protocol can be implemented, implemented in the sense how this thing can be, H of X could be, how this H of X could be implemented. That is the question here. And how the signature is being generated here. Signature generation is not a big deal, but H of X is uh, very, very important to be so generate here, how this could be generated. So to generate hash value of one particular plain text, we are using one specific algorithm, so SHA, so secured hash algorithm. Okay, look at this one. So we are trying to explain, or we are trying to take uh, some part, I mean, a preliminary part of SHA. So SHA in the sense, uh, so secure hash algorithm. This is secure hash algorithm is one of the, so one of the parts of uh, MD4, message di digest 4, MD4 family. MD4 family does have uh, for SHA, 
MD5 and uh, SHA2. So SHA1 and SHA2. These are the three different kinds of uh, applications which are available. But we are discussing with only SHA1 right now. What exactly it could be done here? What exactly it could be done? So SHA1 has been defined based on Merkel Demgard construction. Merkel Demgard in the sense we have learned already in uh, symmetric algorithms. We have learned something about uh, Fiestel. So Fiestel algorithm has already uh, uh, learned by us in uh, symmetric algorithms, symmetric cryptography. So similarly, in, 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 in uh, symmetric cryptography, what exactly the Fiestel will be? Almost all the uh, same kind of uh, so construction was made by Markel Damgard. These are the two scientists which have been prepared this construction. Based on this one, Shah will be gets work out here. Okay. And then uh, it is uh, always producing the size, I mean, output of uh, that hash value will be 160 bits. Output of that hash will be 160 bits. For uh, how much uh, uh, information it could be taken as input in the sense, it could be taken arbitrary length. Arbitrary length, arbitrary length in the sense, you can calculate what is the value of a 2 power 64. So that much amount of uh, data, approximately 2 power 64 in the sense, it could become across one uh, TB, one terabyte. One terabyte information could be taken into consideration. So probably your, uh, your credit card uh, number, otherwise a, a big, big uh, 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 PDF file or entire hard disk or something like that. Okay, so it could be taken this much amount uh, will be taken as input by Shavan. And finally, after doing some kind of uh, application, then it could be generate a 160 uh, 60 bit. Uh, so output message will be generated here. 160 bit in the sense, obviously, you could consider. So 160, okay, 160 divided by 8. So that is uh, 20 bits. 20 bytes uh, data has been generated as uh, the output here. Okay, so that is 20 characters output is being generated by SHA1. So that is the importance of this particular SHA. And uh, before uh, hash, uh, before uh, uh, trying to perform this hashing operation by this algorithm, it could be performed some pre-processing. Already we have come across the key will be pre-processed in uh, DES and AES and uh, uh, key will be, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, generated for each and every round by DES and AES, something like that. Some pre-processing could be always uh, happened within this particular Russia. What is that pre-processor here in the sense, if your message is not exactly equal to, so each and every time, how much amount of message will be taken by SHA in the sense, 512 bits. The block size of uh, SHA will be 512 bits. So, I'll give you the, uh, the, the, the complete detailed information in the coming slides. So, however, I'd like to show you. So, if your data will be, if your data will be seems like this. So, you have uh, uh, 1024 plus uh, some, some 100. One, uh, 124, I mean 1124 uh, bits will be there, this particular message. And uh, it could be calculates, first 512 uh, bits will be, so one particular block, second 512 bits will be second block. And of course, this 512 also, it could be performed some other operation. Let me give you what is that. So uh, not exactly like this. If, if, I, if I would uh, specify something like this, you may be gets confused. Let me explain. Uh, even then it could become in, uh, in, in near, near one. So here it could be taken how many number of characters are there which could be able to so frame 512 bytes. This 512 bytes will be padded with, okay, padded with, so how many bits we are supposed to pad here in the sense? So a binary digit one followed by number of zeros. These number of zeros will be decided by the, decided by the length of the input. I'll, I'll give you an example also, very good example also. I shall uh, give you a very good example. So a number of uh, zeros will be so added here. And finally, 64-bit pad will be taken into consideration. 64-bit pad, why it could be taken into consideration in the sense, out of this, uh, so uh, uh, I shall give you one specific uh, uh, 
uh, let me let me open the calci then it could be very easy to understand so 500 and, okay 512 bytes minus 64 so totally 448 bits are available so if your data will be so total data which is available within this particular uh, thing will be 448 bits there is no problem there is no uh, uh, addition of one and zero zeros could not be so added here so this this is actual data this is actual data 448 bits will be actual data followed by so how many number of characters are there so it may be calculated how many number of bits are there here those bit value can be placed here for example you do have some uh, 448 bits so this 448 bits will be converted into uh, uh, it's 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 a uh, binary equivalent value i don't know where exactly it could be there in uh, in this calculator so that binary bit pattern will be so placed here 0 1 1 0 something like this will be placed here up to 64 bits length so each and every block will be placed 448 bits plus 64 bits the 64 bits will be how many number of actual data will be stored here that could be so taken here so that is the number of actual bits will be taken here followed by again 448 so followed by so how many number of characters are there if you convert those characters into bits how many number of bits will be there that uh, number will be stored here 448 plus 448 448 so wait for a while 448 plus uh, 448 hmm. 896 minus 1124 so how many bits have been left over here 228 okay 512 minus 228 will be equal to 284 so please remember 448 bits will be loaded into each and everything plus 64 that is 512 bytes so 12 bits so uh, at the last and final uh, block so we have for uh, 284 bits uh, have been left over here because uh, so 448 plus 448 two blocks have been prepared so minus uh, 1124 as i said the number of bits which are available here uh, number of bits which are available here within the message will be 1124 so minus 1124 in this is 2 to 228 228 bits are left over here so these 228 28 bits will be appended like this so uh, 228 actual data this is actual data so appended with uh, one binary digit one okay 228 plus 64 minus 512 so one uh, binary one is being added and if you left over with the binary one from 220 so 219 zeros will be added here 219 zeros will be added so here 228 uh, actual data so 221 followed by 219 so bits and then 64 bit length so totally it will be it will be so 512 bytes okay so 512 bits here i'll give you a very good example at the end of this uh, particular session then you could understand what exactly this one so this is uh, the process of uh, pre-processing if message will not be so uh, will not be supports this 512 bit chunk then you have to adjust in such a way for example let me give you so very easy understand uh, understandable kind of uh, a thing here my message will be uh, for example uh, 315 uh, bits are there in my, in my in my message my message will be 315 bits I want to make this particular 315 bits into 512. How you could make this one? How you could convert this particular thing here? How this could be converted here in the sense? So making of a 512 bit uh, chunk, how this could be made here in the sense? So at the LSB level, 64 bits will be always pre-allocated based on the number of bits which we have with us. Number of bits, so this is actual data which is uh, having with us. So, uh, 315 plus 64, this much data is available. Then, uh, how many number of bits are left over here? Minus 512. If you take minus 512, so 133 bits are not existed with us. And these 133 bits will be so 
appended like this one will be allocated or one will be appended and remaining all bits will be zeros will be placed here so at msb level one will be appended and remaining all are zeros okay it could be placed so actually your 315 bits uh, 315 bits as actual data so this is actual data this is appended data this is actually so appended this is standard one appended data and this is uh, the size of your actual data size of so actual data okay actual data so this is what uh, which is going to be done so in this way it could be make it could be pre-process this whole message into 512 bits okay this is the actual process which is being happening in sha and then followed by after compression before going to take the compression how many number of rounds which could be taken here so it could be taken 80 rounds so 80 rounds are going being happened and these 80 rounds will be so divided into four stages each stage could be taken 20 rounds each stage could be taken 20 rounds okay we will go in detail uh, probably by tomorrow's class okay and then uh, sha algorithm is a comprise of block cipher it is a block cipher and the input will be taken hash of the previous one and uh, uh, whatever the block you may be considered actually this plain text will be called as x and uh, whatever the hash value which we have generated uh, at, at each and every stage that will be h of i i in the sense present state, present state. so i minus one in the sense previous state okay that value could be taken into consideration in this way so 80 rounds are being taken into consideration and it could be it could be generated 160 bit output and how this could be seen so this is actually your x value x is a plain text and this x value could be divided into several number of pieces as i said just before so several number of pieces and these pieces will be so padded with uh, with uh, one so number of zeros plus 64 bits okay padded with them and then this could be sent to compression function actually this compression function is sha algorithm this this one is sha algorithm it has been sent to compression function and then this compression function so for example this particular x will be more than 512 bits then uh, you maybe have for two blocks or three blocks or four blocks or five blocks something like that all these blocks are being continuously taken as this compression function will be gets operated iteratively for several number of times after completion of last one final message it will be generates one hash value okay it will be generate one hash value and here the sizes will be what are the sizes we have, which we have to consider so however this uh, dotted line you have, I have mentioned with the dotted line this dotted line this particular architecture is called as uh, so uh, what is the name i have specified here markel deem guard markel deem guard so algorithm this is markel deem guard algorithm and the size of your uh, padding input will be 512 bytes 512 bits and then uh, so size of uh, your your uh, recomputation will be 160 bits and finally after computation will be all computations will be gets happen so finally the output will be h of x will be capital h of x will be equal to 160 this is the final output which is being generated by sha okay secured hashing algorithm for this one how pre processing could be done just i have discussed with you so pre processing message x has been padded with a fit size of 512 bit just before i have discussed it with you let us have a look here your message will be gets padded uh, uh, with uh, one so number of zeros plus 64 bits okay one number of zeros will be dip, uh, depends based on the based on the plain text if your, if your plain text will be so exactly 448 let me open one more time this particular thing so uh, 500, 512 minus uh, so 64 if your data will be for plain text will be exactly 448 bits there is no one uh, followed by number of bits could not be added could not be added actual data followed by 64 bit okay so if your data could not be so 448 bits then so your actual data followed by one followed by number of zeros plus so 64 bits so that could be done in the pre-processing step okay 
so here the initial value so here we have to submit it here we have to submit it i have i'm unable to draw this one here in this uh, in this particular point so initial value h naught will be get submitted here that value will be a predefined constant this constant will be i will let you know the constant while uh, sha will be discussed with you okay and then padding could be done let us consider listen very carefully regarding to this particular padding your message x with a length of l bits okay i'll give you example also then you could understand very easily your message x does f l bit length this is l actually don't be considered don't be don't be confused with l and one will be same so l bit length and then so to obtain the size of 512 bytes you may be append single one this is one actually followed by k number of zeros this single one and k number of zeros will be depends on your your message just now i have i told you so 448 bytes will be there bits will be there with you there is no k number of bits or k number of zeros and one no k, k number of zeros and one so it could not be appended you have only 64 of representation 64 bit representation of l will be taken that's all okay so your message will be seems in such a way so your total message followed by if it is 448 bits total message so here it is 448 bits and uh, 64 bit length this length will be always uh, taken into consideration here okay only this one k number of bits could not be there with you okay however how this could be calculated k will be calculated one and uh, zeros will be how you can uh, calculate it, this one here k will be equal to 512 minus 64 minus 1 minus l okay l will be the length of uh, your actual data my length will be 448 for example 448 okay minus so uh, actual length is uh, this one uh, wait for a while uh, i don't i don't know somewhat uh, uh, i'll take the eraser here so look at this here look at this so actually so 512 512 minus so 64 plus 1 plus my length will be 447 already one is go, gone here so that uh, 447 so calculate this much so how this particular value will be so 65 plus uh, 447 uh, what is this will be equal to 512 65 plus 447 will be equal to so 512 so therefore there is no k number of zeros which are appended there is no k number of zeros for example so my data will be my data will be taken from 200 and uh, 205 uh, bits will be there in my data for example my data my message will be 200 205 uh, bits will be there then how how many number of zeros could be added here in the sense so 512 512 minus so 64 plus 1 plus my data size will be 205 205 you have to calculate how many number of zeros will be appended here so number of zeros to be appended will be so 64 plus 1 plus uh, 205 how much is this one minus 512 so these many number of zeros are supposed to be appended okay so based on your uh, actual data based on your actual uh, so message so number of zeros will be gets added that could be calculated like this so this is the way of calculation okay so that could be of course uh, uh, 448 minus l plus uh, 1 l plus 1 l, l in the sense length of your actual message plus 1 modulo division of 512 okay that could be done here then how this could be let us have a look here let us have a look here so this is actual your actual data the message will be actual and you may be add one followed by several number of zeros and uh, uh, here it is uh, length will be length will be. this is actually l don't be don't be consider this is not a one this is l length of that particular message will be stored here then here this is actually padding it could be gets padded here and this is l number of bits of actual message and this is k plus 1 number of bits which are being added based on your data i mean based on your plain text and this is the size of uh, your length that is 64 bits finally n will be equal to 512 bits here and here you could see for example 
uh, it's very important to understand you have given a message that is abc my message will be abc and it could be 8 bit ascii character set it could be 8 bit ascii character set so totally length of my message will be equal to 24 bits okay look at this so as far as uh, small a 97 97 will be this one and the 98 will be this one 100 will be this one so uh, how a will be converted into ascii code and b will be converted into ascii code c will be converted into ascii code eight threes are 24 so length will be 24 bits and here uh, how many number of bits are uh, being appended uh, with the one how many number of bits so 4 part 8 plus uh, sorry minus so 1 plus l 1 plus l here that is 4 part 8 minus 25 so l in the sense l will be equal to 24 and 1 will be padded here so that is 25 4 part 8 minus 25 that would be 423 zeros must be added here 423 zeros must be added here so therefore this is first a this value is a and uh, this value is to understand uh, very clearly i have given some spaces here this value is b and this value is c and uh, right away from here so uh, this is the specific value which is being padded so like this k plus one bits so this is one followed by k number of uh, k number of zeros will be added here how many number of zeros will be added so 423 zeros will be added here followed by so how what is the value how many how many number of bits are there in actual message 24 so this this value is this equivalent value is 24 how could you how could you know this one here in the sense so look at this so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 and 2 power 4 2 power 4 16 plus 8 Okay, 16 plus 8 will be equal to 24. Okay, how many number of actual bits are there within the within the message? So that that, that equivalent binary value could be loaded here in the 64 bits. Okay, so in this way it has been it has been padding will be pre-processing will be gets added here. Okay, pre-processing would be take took place in this particular pattern. So after this I have prepared and tomorrow. Tomorrow also we do have uh, our class. Tomorrow we'll finish off a complete SHA. Tomorrow's class is very crucial because you need to understand very carefully how the tomorrow class will be gets completed. So we need to understand very carefully. Okay. Tomorrow also I'll let you know the time. Let you know the time. Okay. Um, Ramakrishna, just now he was entered. <laughs>